I ain't gotta let nothing give me nausea. What's up guys, it's Mega Minecraft here, and today we are going to be showing you guys how to make a cannon on flans. Now, as you guys know, cannon, can, making cannons on flans is actually extremely difficult, and the reason that it's difficult to make is because the this server, it actually has like a lot and a lot of lag, like a whole lot of lag. So, we, I have designed this little cannon thing to basically take care of most of the... Uh, most of the issues and break through this obsidian hole in one wall. I mean, in one, in one, um, in one like whack. So, yeah. If you guys are wondering why I'm like not even liking talking, it's because I just had like a brace. Like, I just had my brace. Like, it's acting all weird. Like it just came off or something. So yeah, I have to deal with that now, but okay. So essentially, you guys know, Obsidian has um, durability. It has exactly five durability, and you can always check its durability by um, looking at it with a, um, with a stick. If I right-click with the stick, you can see up here it says five out of five, and you can see recently when I was doing my testing, it lowered down to three out of five in some parts. Now, if you look at the slabs, it actually won't show you, but if you, like, right-click on the obsidian slabs, it would say durability 1 out of 1. And uh, the reason for that is it just really takes one TNT to blow up because you're sort of, like, inside of it whenever it does blow up. So, yeah, anyways, so let's get on with this thing, guys. Look, guys, I don't not, like, to record flans. thing is, is that, like, if... I really hope you guys understand it this way. If Vanity sees one block in my base, they can literally... Like it's even the slightly utmost unique. They all they have to do is just send out their whole squad with digi miners mining for that exact block, and then when they find it, they know they found my base, and that's how I get can get raided the second I show my base. That that's it doesn't matter if you hide your cords. It just matters if you show your base. That's that's what I'm afraid of. So you know, guys, like even if I were to just completely tear up my walls and design and everything, ah. Uh, it would still not work. And that's just an issue that I I just, I don't know. It's really hard to deal with. Anyways, so what this cannon is basically designed to do is, as you can see, if I flip this lever off, it's going to, uh, it's going to do that. But it's also going to hit the sand, right? So it's going to disappear. So then if we flick this thing back off, what we're going to do is then we're going to hit this button. This is the button that's going to be firing the TNT. So once I hit this button, this thing is going to then close like this for the TNT so that it goes back in. And then all the TNT, all five, are going to go right there. And it's going to explode. Now, as you can see already, because there was all five, it's already basically broken the bottom of the obsidian. But that's not what I want to show you guys. What I want to show you guys is that even once that's broken, now pretend you have to go up a wall. Let's say, like, it's way too high, right? So then what we're going to do is we're going to flip off this switch, and then one by one, it's going to begin to place down sand. Now, because this wall's too short, I won't really be letting this thing run for too long, because this thing actually needs to be quite precise. But if you're reading a really, really, really high wall, you can leave that button on for however long you guys would like. Okay, so we're going to probably leave it right about there. Now, here's how this thing is going to work. What you guys are going to do then is you guys want to try and hybrid this. And um, how you're going to hybrid this... Um, is okay one second 